Welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the complete demo of automatically generating test cases for specification mining. Let us see the abstract of our process. Software testing is an investigation conducted to provide stakeholders with information about the quality of the product or service under test. In this paper, the test cases are generated using JUnit. Dynamic specification mining profits from test case generation since additional executions can be observed to enrich the mined specification. Test case generation on the other hand can profit from mined specifications as they complement points to behavior that should be explored. The goal of this work is to explore the extent to which the quality of dynamically mined specifications can benefit from generated test. Let us see the flow of our process. We take Java program as input. We are going to create test cases for all the conditions of the Java program and we are going to create different test methods depends upon the different conditions of the Java program. After test case condition, we are going to create test suite. The test suite includes all the methods, all the test case methods. After test case condition, we are going to observe the execution. So the the observation is done by object behavior model. The object behavior model will have a UML representation. This UML representation includes activity diagram, sequence diagram, class diagram, and use case diagram. And given the Java program and test cases, it will create automatically these UML representations. After observing the execution using this object behavior model, we are going to evaluate the code efficiency. Code efficiency is evaluated using MR tool. While executing the test suit, the email tool covers the coverage and it will display the package and class coverage. <laughs> After the package and class coverage, we are going to extract the execution paths using these test cases and the object behavior model and we are going to draw a session tree for the execution paths. So, by combining test case generation, Test suit generation, object behavior model, and code efficiency. We are getting efficient Java code. Let us see the execution of our process. Open the project in Advance and open source packages. In decision tree package, we are going to draw decision tree for our classes. And in test cases packages, we are having some Java programs. And in test packages, we are having test cases for these Java classes. So now we are going to, uh, already we have created the test cases. A test suite is also created here. Um, before executing these test files and test cases, we need to activate the EMA tool. So for code coverage. Um, to evaluate the code efficiency, we are going to activate the AMA tool and uh, before that, we can also execute these test cases. So just click on the test cases, test the suit and click test file. So it, will, uh, it will show you the test results. Here are all seven tests passed. So these are the test cases you can see here and these test case results are displayed here. So uh, on activating the AMA coverage tool, you can see the code coverage and package coverage. So before, before that we are going to do object behavior model. So in this we are having UML project. Uh, click on this. In the model uh, package we will be having all um, our packages, all of our these packages. So just click on dash entry. Create diagram from selected elements. Pick a class diagram and name it here. I'm naming it as class icon D because this is for decision tree. Click finish. So if it includes all the elements, it will ask you these questions. Click on yes. So these are the class icon for our decision tree. So here, decision draw, we are using these attributes of classes and decision tree. And we are having for all the classes, it will create class icon. So uh, I'm already having an activity diagram 
but we can also create a new diagram for that create diagram select that and name it click finish so I will show you sequence diagram and this is the use case diagram for our process so who draw addition draw sand draw and we are having parallel draw and addition tree so finally we are getting addition tree for all these classes so we can we here we get use case diagram and for our test case packages too we can create these diagrams just create diagram from select elements click any diagram so here activity diagram for test cases click finish now click yes so here we are getting the activity diagram for all the classes so now we are executing the test suit so the test cases are executing first and then the these classes these java classes here it uh, tell you the attributes and operations that we use in our classes so these are the object behavior model it will tell you the execution parts and after this object behavior model we are going to create we are going to cover we are going to check the code coverage and so just uh, before executing it click on the package name go to coverage and activate coverage to activate the coverage to get this coverage uh, selection we need to install the EMA plugin and JM plugin to execute it click on activate coverage selection so, and now execute it click on test here the EMA plugin and time coverage data for all of the classes so here all seven test paths and all three classes are tested here each of the test classes contains two or three methods here and now these are the test results and now we are going to see the EMA coverage we will show project coverage statistics so here the decision tree we didn't execute in decision tree so it is a zero percent so in test cases here we executed this 95 percent of lines are executed here out of 63 lines 60 lines are executed and it is out of four classes we are executing 75 percent so uh, here it is executed as we didn't execute the decision tree it shows zero percent and uh, here the test case package are three the password class is 100% covered and the greater class is 95% covered and unique numbers is 100% covered so in this case is main so it is uh, we didn't have any main uh, method in this case so it is, it, it is not covered so here we can see our, uh, our three classes here is out of four we are executing we cover three classes and it is 75% classes three classes are executed and out of 63 lines 60 lines are covered and 95 percent we got the code coverage efficiency now we will see the decision tree so click on and we draw and execute it so click on any of these classes it will display the classes if it is food or java the class contains these codes and for these codes and we are having the execution line for each of the uh, execution number for each of the lines and it will show you the decision tree for this food or java class so here number one and two it's here we are having conditions so it is true it will be executed and false this execution parts will be executed click on any of the class so here we are having this decision tree and this is the class these are the lines and this is the addition key for this class so click on another java class so here we are having the class here java program here and the execution path here so hence we here cover the code coverage and we have drawn the addition key for 
the specified classes and we achieved the code efficiency using EMA tool and we achieved the best test case generation using JNET tool. Hence, we achieved the code efficiency using JNET object behavior model test cases and session tree. Thanks for watching.